Hey Aquarius, and welcome to your March 2018 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to give you guys hopefully another amazing reading for your month ahead. And wow, I am so impressed with what I'm seeing for your energies this month. I mean, everyone's cards have been pretty overwhelming with lots of major arcana injection, but I really think that Aquarius is one of the most activated signs this month. Um, you have death, the world, the lovers, um, really, really powerful major arcana cards coming in. And just intuitively and energetically, I am feeling that March may be one of the most activated months of the year of 2018 for you. Um, and I think that it's going to feel much better than you think it is because Aquarius has been really hot and cold lately to me. I think you're coming into this place where you're learning how to breathe, where you're learning how to like balance and integrate. But, um, you know, having this Jupiter and Scorpio energy squaring you, um, having gone through your time of the year here and at the end of January into February, it's been uh, very split across the board for a lot of Aquarius. I've known Aquarius who are really thriving right now and I've known Aquarius who are really, um, not happy with their experience, not a lot of in-between. So I think that this month really comes in to show you the in-between, but to also give you, um, it's like a sidestep or a path out of what you're not liking anymore. This is definitely a strong month of endings for you, Aquarius, like it is for everyone. This is the month where we go into equinox time. So the first two weeks of March for everyone is a major time of release, a major time of getting the final toxins out of the 2017 year cycle, where after the 21st of March, we will start anew, have sort of an energetic overturn, and be able to um, feel like we have energy once more. It's very natural in the beginning of this month to feel like you're lacking in energy or to feel like you are not quite functioning at your best, but there also has to be something that becomes activated through what you let go of. So what is that for you, Aquarius? Definitely take some time coming into this month thinking of what's no longer needed, what um, addictions are you maintaining that might be really subtle but are not so good for you? How can you manage your productivity? Because I feel that Aquarius becomes much more productive through this energy in this month as well. How can you manage this in a new way where by letting go of what you no longer need in your cycles, you become more productive, you are contributing more to where you want to see yourself um, in about six months? I also feel that June and July is really, really strong for you. So what can you build up to in that time from now? And what do you need to let go of that is inhibiting you from getting there? Okay, you guys do have death and the world. I believe that Sag also had this. Um, one of the other signs had this. Um, and it's always really powerful for me. I don't see those cards come together very often. This can indicate an actual uh, death around you. Um, and obviously that's not gonna be right for everybody, but I, whenever like the death card comes up, you know, everyone's like, oh, it doesn't mean an actual death. Um, it's just like an ending, but the world always intensifies that. And it still doesn't necessarily mean an actual death, but um, it does really capitalize on the finality and the ending energy because the world is the last card in the major arcana. So something in your life, Aquarius, is coming into its last chapter. What needs to end? What series needs to come to a close this month? And it's really interesting to me that that does happen before Equinox time because it's just collective general ending times for everyone. So you're really at the forefront of that, Aquarius. I feel for you, it does go straight into victim mentalities. It goes straight into lack and insatiability and seeing through that in other people to ultimately come into a place of, you know, giving it to yourself, becoming satiable, becoming uh, empowered and finding the driver's seat of your own experience, okay? So I'm going to get into the week to week to give you guys some more specific messages here. In the first week of March, you have three of wands rooted down by the lovers. Um, I think that this is probably the funnest or best week of your month. Um, three of Wands and the Lovers have been coming up for a lot of signs this month. So you might be feeling that someone's turned their back on you. You might be feeling that something feels too far away. Um, I sense that you have a truth. You have something that's very easy and understood by you, but people are trying to contort that or people are trying to change what your truth is to mold to their experience. And I feel that this is what has generated this crossroads in your life, Aquarius. The lovers is all about crossroads and a decision. So are you going to maintain relationships and continue to prioritize people who want your truth to conform to their reality? I feel like it's sort of a step back this month or 
refinding yourself in a sense that your truth is making your reality because there's like a weird uh reality shift happening for you aquarius i feel like it's very similar to scorpio energy as well because i remember in my 2018 year ahead for scorpio it was all about these like hyper reality shifts if you guys want to check out that reading you it's on my channel to understand more about that concept but um so truth, lies, all of these things which sort of filter through our uh, upper level of consciousness, what makes something true, what makes something a lie, all of these philosophical deep things are definitely coming up now and very reflected in your relationships. And I feel that you can come to the answers and what you need to know by um, thinking a bit more about people who have been inaccessible or people who haven't been available to you. Because Three of Wands, I think that I have a bit of a different take on it than most readers. Um, I do agree that it deals with like what's on the horizon. It deals with um, possibilities and the distance you have to cover to um, achieve what you're striving for. But I think that sometimes it can also deal with someone who has turned their back on you or someone who feels inaccessible to you, who can't see you, who can't see what your um, opinion or what your truth is. So the first week of March, perfect time to see who is on your side and who does not believe in you and to ultimately be able to decide whether or not, you know, decisions with the lovers, whether or not that's what your priority needs to be because I do sense that Aquarius is really prioritizing people whose backs are turned on them. Second week Aquarius, the world reversed, rooted down by eight of swords reversed. This has sort of been that cycle for you for like the last year or two um, that you are letting go of, and I'm so happy. Um, you know, your world being turned upside down by feeling trapped and blindfolded by narcissistic people, most likely. I have a bit of a different take on narcissism than most people, too. That's a whole video in and of itself. But um, Eight of Swords, to me, does deal with uh, narcissistic ties and deals with this sort of symbiotic relationship of narcissism in a relationship. So not to get too far down that rabbit hole, but um, who do you identify as a narciss narcissist in your life, Aquarius? Um, past that, why are you there if you know it, you know? And like, have you been able to cut those ties? Because it's really easy for us to call people narcissists or it's very easy to um, identify the problem, but sometimes it's harder to actually realize that if it's such a big problem for us, we need to, you know, go into that world mode where it's like the last chapter, you know, we don't need to write a new book with somebody who's giving us this strong narcissistic experience. And I think that that's clicked for you guys. And I think you're kind of in that strategic place where it's like, what's my next move? Because you get right into that third week, King of Wands, rooted down by Five of Pentacles, and sort of with the death card just lingering right there. Um, a lot of you are scared that by leaving behind this narcissistic connection that you will be like out on the street or you will lose something. And that does generally tend to be how this works. Um, you know, if you, you start to feel like without this person, you're like in five of pentacles mode, you're, um, something's taken from you and you can no longer feel warmth or feel the light. Um, it really becomes a matter of starting over in the third week of March for you all getting into that King of Wands energy. I've seen so many like court card wands energy in the third week. It's so funny with all of the signs. Um, and it's really saying to me that, you know, ambitions, passion, desires, what we strive for starts with like the fire within us, not the fire that other people provide. So not by feeling acknowledged or validated by somebody else, do you come into view of your purpose? That starts within you because for almost everybody, there's this like ending energy in the second week of March, like with the world or death energies or just other cards that um, say that. And then in the third week, there's this uh, ignition of fire energy. So by separating from other people, you start to see how you come into contact with your purpose energy, with your desires, and how that's ultimately what has to keep you warm, not these like narcissistic people. Um, and if you start to feel cold and out on the street or impoverished by the lack of their presence, it's kind of natural. Sometimes you have to go through a bit of a withdrawal from these types of um, relationship connections. But it's like you have to feel that coldness or that lack and then build the fire from within yourself. 
to establish forward motion. And that pushes you all into the fourth week with King of Cups, you're down by 10 of Pentacles. Much more stable, easy culmination energy there. Um, I do sense that March can be a new relationship month for Aquarius, for sure. You have those upright King of Wands and King of Cups energies. So very evolved fire and water signs coming in who have like uh, strong control over their lives, who are in the driver's seat of their experience. And I do feel like King of Wands is coming more from within you, um, but King of Cups to me feels like an outside um, influence. So finding your water signs, your Cancers, Scorpios, Pisces, and uh, seeing what you have to learn from them, even from your past, even if it's not been like a wonderful connection or experience, uh, who are these people and what lessons need to be learned? Because it feels like with that being rooted down by 10 of Pentacles, that there's another culmination happening, you know, again, with the world and death being in your reading this month, um, sort of a connection to tangible reality, familial values, traditional experiences, ending and starting over. So ultimately you're coming back into a cycle by the end of March of innovation, because you are the sign of innovation, you're ruled by Uranus. So um, kind of coming out of these traditional norms, these traditional values seems to do you good or to see it from like a new perspective. Not to say that um, tradition doesn't have its place, it does. And that's also a part of the Aquarius experience right now is understanding the good side of tradition and the good side of older values, but while also being able to see the new, more innovative experiences as well. And other than that, you know, death being your central theme, Aquarius, this is a month of ending, this is a month of releasing. And even though that can sometimes feel difficult, you know, like if you have like bad food poisoning or if you have a high fever, um, that experience of your body trying to release those toxins is not always nice, but usually once that release has happened, you come into a place of feeling much more healthy and the contrast of that like the contrast from being very sick to suddenly being healed is something that you learn a lot in and really benefit from anyway aquarius i've so enjoyed giving this reading to you guys short and simple for this month not too overwhelming because it's not too good right now to be way over the top with in-depth spiritual stuff but if you guys would like to book a private reading with me and understand more you can click the center of your screen also you can check out the 2018 year ahead videos i did in the playlist or subscribe like and comment to my channel i would so appreciate that it makes my day much love and i will talk to you all soon bye